This is the car wash on Soccer La Duma Radio. This is a song on a corner. And I mean, now Pirates is back in the in the conversation. Uh, you know, top eight. Sure. Um, <laughs> the three-two win <laughs> against Polo Guane. Yeah, not convincing, was it? And but also, what a weird game. Yeah, like it was bizarre. Questionable red cards there with that incident. And then Did you see them both fall down at the same time? Like a sack was, of potatoes. It was, it was, it was really like weird. pre-planned. <laughs> it was like choreographed. They yes. both go down. Um, and neither of them actually got hit in the face. No. <laughs> yeah. And he's still tending to his nose. <laughs> yes. And Come on, like, Lord. What, what's, what's happening, brother? simulation over here? And then the, the penalty is not a handball. No. So it, it's just, but but still, I have to give it up for Coach Rulani. I still think that, you know, they he he, he did very very well with his subs, bringing them on. They mm. were all involved in the goals mm. late on. So, you know, shaky at the back late. But, yeah, but, it's it's concerning, eh? But still in search of that striker, eh? And it's in the it's in the paper. Siago Bosa. Probla and Nduli are in the discussion. And Castro and Brocky. I can't see Castro going. I can't see Brocky going. And yeah. I, I don't know. What do you think, Tex? Probla uh, probably the likeliest? For, for me, it's it's no disrespect to the other guys as well. You sure. Know, I don't... We don't disrespect on this show. Yeah. Never. Oh, oh, you, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Bongi Nduli <laughs> plays as a, a target man. And yeah. um, he will fit in very well in a team that plays for the target man. Your vets, mm. super sport. Dulu will be, will be brilliant yeah. in those teams. Stellenbosch, for instance, will be very, very brilliant in that team. But with Pirates that play with so much diversity, mm. we're going to be a problem. So now certain certain elements that he doesn't have that will be required in the game. That's why Gabuza couldn't be who he is to the super sport day mm. because he's a target man. True. So now you find your Brocky. Brocky, I mean, uh, Brocky also is still going to struggle mm. because he is that kind of a target man mm. that actually fades into the game, but he forever be there to when the opportunity comes and he, yeah. you know, there's a goal. Yeah. But he's not like very mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. So now so now every striker now that Orlando Paris needs to get, they're gonna, always going to compare him to Nokovic. Nokovic is a big boy. Mm. But that <laughs> moves, eh? Yeah. He yes. moves. And now you find you find Robla as well. Robla is a gold poucher. Yeah. Like he he also poucher. Li- what poucher? He said poucher. He said poucher. <laughs> the f**k's a poucher? Simon, what's a poucher? Wait, let's go to yeah. yeah. A gold poucher. <laughs> Simon, I said poucher. Shit. Shit. <laughs> you the whitest white, yeah. <laughs> right, mate. I'm not getting into this. <laughs> so so with Robla, yeah, is he's 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 is is very good in link up play. Mm. He's a very smart footballer. And then if you can put him in the right team with a good number ten. Krobra will have equal goals as a number 10 because he's very smart, he's very selfish, he's very smart on the ball. But now you're going to play for a team that is very demanding, which is Orlando Pirates. And uh, the last time Orlando Pirates actually had a striker that scored, that had a maybe top goal scorer, it was who? I think it was Leslie Magnatel or something like that. That long ago? I think it was. Wow. I don't remember any striker being the top goal scorer at Orlando Pirates. That's going back. I remember, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but it's just that it's so difficult because of the demands that comes with being a striker at Orlando Pirates. I know we played there. Most of the people that actually get to score goals are midfielders, as number 10, your wingers. That's Orlando Pirates. He was a hell of a striker, eh? Lazy. No, he was. I wish I played with him. But then, then... These guys, also same, Castro, Brookie, they, those are the same. They, mm. They've got the same, same type of play, but they just differ a little bit there. And they, I think a lot of problems with the way they play, they need to find a false number nine, like your Kimmy the Rasmus type of player, like your 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 Kama type of player, mm. you know, Sorino, mm. players that can play as a false nine, but you forever find them beyond the defenders yeah. with the speed and actually get your goals. And the target men, they have a target man right now. They're still struggling to find goals mm. because now the target men will forever be there and Orlando Pirates are playing with so much diversity where their the, the midfielders actually have to come into the box, they have mm. to uh, combine passes, but your target man is always on the way. So now you need somebody that is very mobile to create that space, sure. to isolate one defender, but they can't because of, they're struggling with that. And, uh, Interesting. Four, so you, four, you're saying none of these four? It will never work. Yeah. No, no disrespect to, to all these guys, they can prove me wrong, mm-hmm. but it will never work. Mainly because I've I've seen, I've played with Castro, I've played with Nduli, I've never played with, with, with Robla, I wish I did, but I know how smart he is. Mm. And I know how Castro... How, Not how even national Castro. team, you must have played national team with him. No, I never. Really? When, yeah. when he started, I retired. Okay. <laughs> That's a whole job, right? Almost, almost makes it sound like he timed that on purpose. Yeah. Like, ah, ah, you guys don't like each other? Or? No, I wish, nah. I, played, I, yeah. I wish I played with Krobra. I've always, I've, even years ago, yeah. I always said 
he's so good. Yeah. Like his timing on the ball, the way he flicks the ball, like he, he doesn't just flick for the sake his of awareness, eh? His awareness is very smart. And he has matured as a player as well. Mm, Dulia yeah. played with him at Sundowns and he struggled a little bit because I understand the way that we were playing at the time at Sundowns, it's still the way that Sundowns is playing. Mm. You know, with a lot of diversity, as a striker, you need to be so mobile, you need to do certain things. Yeah. And Dulia is not that type of a player. That's why he's so good at Amazon because of everything comes to him. Yeah. So at Sundowns, there's going to be, this one must touch, 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 touch. Mm. Then you also have to touch, if your touch is not that good, we're not going to pass you the ball for the next yeah. five minutes and then we need we need something else. So yeah. they're going to struggle a lot, but they can prove me wrong. Yeah, uh, what's interesting to me about Bradley and uh, Nduli is one, Bradley, you know, over time, you, you mentioned that he's matured. Do you think that he has the right personality for an environment like Pirates, which is... It's very. I feel like Super Sports United is kind of like they 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 nurture their boys there. You know, what yeah. I mean? it's like very. Um, That's a good point. It, it, it could be the ultimate test for True. him. Mm. True. Do you know what I mean? I'm he, sure he wants to grow as a player. I'm sure he's. Uh, he, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's comfortable at Super Sport. But what's his next step? Yeah, you need challenges. Absolutely. Well. That's yeah. the next challenge. It'll, it'll be great for his career. It'll be great yeah. actually to test himself as well. Mm -hmm. that, like I said, he can prove me wrong. Yeah. But he just did. You need to understand. People need to understand, especially the players that are, that are being called by all these big teams. You need to understand that, guys, the demands there are way different from your national team sure. demands. Yeah way different from your actual team that you're playing for. The demands there are so big that you're expected to win every game. When you play for a small team, you, you, you're you always looking up to, you, you're looking forward to playing Sundowns, Kids and Chiefs. And Absolutely, Pirates. yeah. And when you play for this team, uh, Sundowns, Kids Every game's a final. Every game is a final. Yeah. So you, you need to always elevate. That's why average players in these teams, they don't last. Mm. You mm. always need to elevate yourself. This is the car wash on Soccer Duma Radio. This is a Sangana Corner.